Hello and welcome to episode one of the Home Building Gym series. I stepped one too many steps. I should have just stopped at this one. This one would have put me nicely in the frame. This one was too much. Uh, let, let's go again. Episode one of the Home, I, I did it again. I did it again, the same step, the same step. Episode one of the Home Gym. I'm off to a rough start here. Welcome to episode one of building a home gym series. I'm so glad you guys are here. I'm so glad that I am finally making this video. So I'm currently standing on the staircase that leads downstairs in the house I just moved in at the beginning of the month. And I've had some time to get things ready and get things set up. But I just kept thinking like, I'll just put one more thing and I'll just get one more piece of equipment in. I'll just make one more adjustment. And I kept thinking about all these things I wanted to do and I wasn't making the video. So today I'm just like, screw it, we're filming this thing. This is gonna be an episode series, so I get into a piece of equipment, we'll make a video about it. So uh, stay tuned for, I got lots of fun stuff coming and I'm really excited about this series. So without further ado, let's take the tour. So something that was really important to me when making this gym, I want you to be able to go downstairs and feel like you're walking to a gym. Okay, so that's my grand vision. I want you to go downstairs and be like, what, I thought I was in a house, I'm now in a gym. Wow, that's a radical idea, Zach. But yeah, that's the vibe I'm going for. Obviously, I'm not quite there yet. I've got a long way to go. Building a home gym is also really freaking expensive, especially when you're just, just buying pounds of weight. It, it really adds up quickly. So this is gonna be a process, a stage process. That's why I thought, why not make a series about it? Okay, let's get into it. Okay, so you walk in, here's the gym. Now I'll give you the tour of exactly what I got going on here. When you walk in, I want there to be a desk here that I can store, you know, documents, paperwork, uh, my business cards, stuff like that, and also store things like massage tools and stuff like that, get it out of the way, like a whole kind of simple filing system here. And that's kind of a good first impression when you walk in, so that's where my head's at there. So you'll notice right here, I've got two benches. I actually have a third one in storage that I wanna get, that's just a basic flat bench. This one is a, it's, it's a low to the ground incline that can, you know, be set up to be a decline. I'm not much of a decline guy. I don't really like decline exercises. So um, I got this piece of equipment for free. That's why it's down here. I might uh, replace it with something better, but this is what I got for now. This one I also got for free. A lot of this equipment I've been like accumulating for years and putting in storage. And uh, that's why I have a lot of it. But yeah, if you're patient enough, you can get really good deals and exercise equipment without paying the premium prices or you know just get it for free a lot of times people go through exercise phases and they try and get rid of stuff so keep your eyes open and you'll usually find a deal so in storage i'm, I'm missing i guess just the rod that goes through here right now i have a couple dumbbell handles here <laughs> but that's supposed to run across the back got an easy bar here with some uh sand plates loaded i have some more sand plates right here i got all these for free they're kind of old school but if you have a bar that works for them you know what i always say weight is weight doesn't matter what it looks like. If it's weight, you can use it. So this section here is going to be my free weight area. Um, this is my started collection of dumbbells. I got mostly for free. I paid for a couple of those bigger ones. A lot of the matching dumbbells are still in storage. I just kind of loaded up my vehicle and made a trip and uh, I used as many as I could fit in there. So I still have remaining dumbbells to grab. This is where all of my resistance bands and stuff like that are gonna be. I wanna get some actual nice hooks. Right now I just kind of have screws, um, but that's something I'm gonna work on for. The next video but yeah i want to have like a an actual dumbbell rack here for now i'm fine with laying them on the floor because like dumbbell racks are just really expensive shelving for dumbbells right that's all they are so ground is fine for now i want to focus on like getting the weights first before i get all the nice you know decorative display things that you find in most gyms so i got a couple of kettlebells here if you're uh, an og subscriber of the channel you remember my video on getting this one i don't know why i made a video on getting a <laughs> buying a kettlebell, I was just excited about it. Um, this one I got, it's pretty beat up. I was using it for strongman throws outside. So these plates, these are like cable machine plates. There's not much that you can do with them. So eventually when I get a cable machine, like I'm gonna build my own. So all I need is like a pulley right there. I already have the handles for cable exercises, but I have the expensive part that I got for free. So that's gonna be a fun video when I get around to putting that one together and this area is the barbell area this is going to be a whole corner dedicated to this this weight tree i got from amazon i think i bought one of the cheaper ones but it does the job 
some of these plates I got as a Christmas gift for in-laws because I knew I was building a gym. Uh, a lot of these rubber ones I just bought recently, like this 45, this rubber 45, and all these are rubber 45s. Um, I got these nice blue ones, like brand new, for $1.50 a pound, and these ones down here, brand new, I uh, got them for a dollar a pound, so, um, you know, I'm talking Canadian prices, but that's pretty freaking good. I was really excited that I got a deal on weight like that, especially since the pandemic hit and weight prices went through the roof. This isn't the nicest gym mat here. It's just the only one I have right now. I plan on building eventually maybe a bit of a deadlift station with the wood in the center and the rubber on the sides, but I've also got this power rack here that I need to set up. I don't know if I want to have a deadlift station and a power rack station, or you know, obviously you can't have a power rack over a deadlift station, so we'll see about that for now. Eventually I would like to have mats like this over the whole floor. Can't really afford that right now, but that's the vision. Then we move on to the cardio station, cardio corner. <laughs> so I got a punching bag here. I got this as a birthday gift when I was in high school. It's not a very big bag, it swings a lot. I have a chain right here that you can put on the bottom and hang weights. And I've done that, but sometimes you just punch the bag and then the weights just swing around like a big heavy wrecking ball. So I'm not really ever giving it to this thing so hard that I'm getting, you know, <laughs> whiplash swung back and destroyed by it. So it's fine for now. I'll do some workout videos where I actually hit this thing and then you'll see how it works. We have two pieces of cardio equipment. I got both of these for free off of people that I know that just weren't using it anymore. Like I said, people go through phases and they don't want it and then it just becomes a piece of equipment that takes up a lot of space in their house and they want to get rid of it. So <laughs> I'm like a freaking vulture when it comes to these things. And here you can see my backyard is it's just all mud and dirt right now. So they still have to level it and I have to put a fence in and landscape it and all that. So obviously there's a lot of stuff that takes priority over building a home gym. But yeah, this gym is definitely, it's my passion. It's, I'm just so excited about it. I have so many ideas for it, but this is what I'm calling phase one. What you're seeing down here is phase one. Phase two, phase three, I've got ideas for how I'm gonna level up this gym that I'm really excited about. And then a lot of stuff I'm not gonna spend a lot of detail on is decorations. You'll see them in my future videos, just on the walls. These are all jerseys that I've worn on various football teams. I'm gonna try and get some nice decorations along the wall here. This is like a material that is sealed and I can't rupture it. So I'm gonna try and get mirrors on the walls and stuff down here, but I have to be careful about this material, what I put on it. So something like this poster, I can tape to it and it's fine. And the poster actually works really good. And then over here, I've got kind of a whiteboard, like a sticky whiteboard that I could just attach to the wall, which was kind of perfect. And then this is not really part of the gym, but this is my guitar area here. I used to be really into guitar when I lived at home with my parents. I used to play it every single day. I was very passionate about it. Then I moved out into an apartment and there wasn't really room for it and it went into storage and it's been in storage for years. So now I got to get the rust off and uh, get back into it. So I'm really excited about that. I love it, but I probably have completely forgotten how to play every song that I used to know. So. <laughs> That will be humbling when I turn that thing on for the first time. And here I got some certs on the wall. Obviously I'm going for my big fish certification that I've maybe talked about before, my CSCS. That'll open every door possible in terms of career choices for me. So I really want to get that, but it's going to be really difficult and I'm studying really hard for it. But um, I'll be so proud when I can finally display that on the wall. Okay guys, that is it. That is episode one of the Build a Home Gym series i don't really have a very catchy name for that yet i'm gonna work on it uh let me know what you guys think oh yeah i forgot to say because this is an empty space <laughs> i want to have kind of a bit of a stretch area here i've got you know an exercise ball here i got some yoga mats i got stuff like that i want to do that kind of in the center area here but i don't have that set up yet. I don't have like a really good gym mat yet, so that's coming too. Okay, that's it for episode one. Thank you guys so much for tuning in and checking it out and joining me on this journey. Some of you have been subscribed to me for a very long time. Man, you know where I started. So for me to be standing here right now is, um, I, I don't know how to put it into words. I'm beyond excited. Episode two, we are going to build this power rack. So stay tuned for that. Thank you guys so much for watching. Subscribe if you haven't. Kloss next out.